Hello everybody, welcome to another session. It is Friday the 16th of October today. It's about 4.15 in the afternoon and I've got no parenting responsibilities this afternoon. <laughs> Babysitters are in position, my mother namely, and uh, I've come down for a session into dark. It'd be dark in probably two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. Once again, I've just nipped out uh, pretty much over the road to the private stretch that I have access to, as you can see behind me. Apologies once again if it's getting a little bit boring, me coming down here, but it is very, very quick, very, very easy, and I'm fairly limited on time this evening. Um, I'm going to fish just into dark, maybe till 7 o'clock, something like that. So I didn't want to eat up too much of my, my time by travelling. Um, and as I say, it's two minutes to get down here. I've been and had a look up the the other swim that there is on this stretch that I created a few weeks ago up there but it's still with the water still being a little bit up it's it's still not really fishable so um, I'm back in this swim here now I did plan on doing a feeder session but in that being as we're going fishing to dark uh, I've got my feeder rod with me uh, more of tackle later I'll go through that as we go along uh, and as always I'll stick it down in the description down below uh, but if anyone's got any questions about things um, people do contact me I'm always contactable direct messaging on Instagram or um, you can message me on Facebook as well not a problem at all always happy to help the conditions being as they are you can probably see the uh, river is very very still there's not too much wind like the last few times we've been down here so I, I did grab the waggler rod as well I think maybe I might have a go on the, on the waggler for half an hour just see if we can do anything before I go onto the feeder and if the waggler is producing we'll fish that until we can't see the float anymore <laughs> so uh, that's the plan really so uh, enough talking I'm gonna get the gear get set up so guys as I'm sure you've seen in previous videos and uh, if you haven't where have you been <laughs> but uh, this is the gear I'm using this evening I tend to use down here it's uh, I've got my Rovex John Wilson Avon quiver pound and a quarter test curve set at 13 foot it's got the dolly piece in it um, I've got my Abu Garcia 704 close face reel I do like a close face reel um, and float wise I've got rather decent sized Drake bodied waggler there. The paint's still on it, I'll tell you what it is. It's not on it anymore. It says 10 inch, but apart from that, I can't read it. From memory, it's quite big, maybe 5 AA, something like that. I'll stick all this in the description below, anyway. And I've got all the bulk a long way down, just above the uh, hook link, which is a just a Drennan red maggot at the moment, size 18. I'm going to go on maggots first. Float set at about nine foot, something like that. We'll adjust that to suit, but it's about nine foot out there. Um, looking at the height of the water, perhaps somewhere around nine foot, but we'll soon know if we're dragging bottom because uh, obviously the float will go under. We've got um, a lovely pace to the water. And it's a lovely color as well. Um, it's just a medium walking pace on the river of flow fairly slack on the inside here the most the flow's on the other side i'm going to fish about halfway across which is sort of the edge of the main flow and i'd say we've got about 18 inches of visibility something like that lovely cloudy day and a lovely sort of tinge of green to the to the water we are having some colder nights though at the moment so um that's probably not going to help things along but uh i'm thinking Perhaps some roach and maybe some perch, skimmers on the float, and then when we go to feeder, we'll probably pick up some bream as well. You never know, we might get some hybrids, but who knows? We're almost in single figures now. I think we're about um, 10 degrees at the moment. I'll have to get my thermometer out uh, somewhere and do the water temperature as well. But we're about 10 or 11 degrees today. It's not going to go down too much tonight either. So it should be fairly pleasant. I've got my thermals on, which is why I haven't got a coat on, but I've got my coat with me just in case. Anyway, I'm waffling. Let's get this bait in the water, see if we can do any good. Floats just very slightly overshotted. So I'm going to drop a shot off. 
Let's take a, a number one off. And uh, let's replace this hook link, which is a, not looking the best. What I'm going to do, as uh, you've seen, if you've seen any of the previous videos of me down here, I'm just going to get to uh, try and get build things up. Just going to get uh, a page full of, well, not a page full, maybe a dozen, dozen maggots in every cast and uh, about every five or ten minutes just put a ball of ground bait in I've chucked a few in just to start it off um, and we'll see how we get on <laughs> oh, it's <a> cracking start. <laughs> First proper run through. A lovely roach. Oh, careful, 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 careful. How's about that? Do it that way, it's a bit better. <laughs> Perfect job. Well, that's good news, looks like they're up for a feed. I've got um, maggots, worms and bread with me tonight and I've got some pellets as well, just in case I should feel like going on to them later with, uh, with the bream in mind. But uh, I think I may, may well target some bigger roach when it gets dark. up for a feed tonight. Well, once again, it's a bite of cast. Nothing huge yet, but uh, who knows? Careful. Fab. Let's <laughs> put it back. <laughs> Ooh, well, I think we got him out just in time.
and back over there. Not sure exactly what that was, but um, I think he did get hold of him on the way in. Probably a little jack, but uh, you never know, it could have been a decent perch. Might be worth uh, trying a worm. Well, it's a slightly better roach. <laughs> had that on a uh, small worm. But again, something's had a go at it down here. I'm gonna have to get these fish out of the water very quickly again. <laughs> There's nowhere to put them back <laughs> over there. Beautiful. Well, we're getting plenty of bites on maggots. Tried worm and had a slightly better roach and a, a perch. But it really reduced the number of bites I was getting. So, gone back on a size 18 and a single mag at the moment, just to try and uh, get a bit of a better feel for what's happening. Of course, I've tried and tried and tried to uh, get through to some bigger fish. It's just not happening. It is very enjoyable catching these uh, these roach, and I shall carry on. But uh, worm hasn't singled anything out. Caster hasn't. Um, I've also tried sweet corn, that hasn't. So I think all I've got left to try is bread, really. Um, but we are starting to lose the light now, so uh, it's time to get on the feeder before too long. Right guys, uh, the waggler rod has gone away. Wasn't exactly uh, tearing up trees. So uh, I've gone over a little bit earlier than I intended onto the feeder rod. So what I'm using this evening is my uh, TFG compact all-rounder with a quiver tip on, a quiver tip top on and set at 10 foot. And coupled with that, an Akuma Longbow uh, 630. Six pound line on here, just a shop bought hook to nylon on. I've got a Guru gripper feeder on there, small size, just um, I think it's an ounce, it might be two ounces. Let's have a look, rather than guessing. Yeah, two ounces, well, 57 grams. 
Um, just to stop with a float stop so I can change the length of the hook link effectively without retying hook links. I've got a stop just above it just to stop that flying off, the feeder flying off down to the rod top when I, uh, when I want to stick it in the bucket, put some more ground bait in. Gonna fish above where we were, excuse me, <laughs> gonna fish on the same line as where we were, um, fishing the waggler. So, uh, fingers crossed. We can uh, have a few bigger fish out on this setup. Obviously, it's an advantage fishing the same line because um, we've been feeding it for the last hour, hour and a half. I've got maggots to start with, see what happens, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Well, they're at it again on the maggots. <laughs> it would try a worm. Roach, roach. Or into something. Well, guys, a bit of a strange old fight until he got in the edge, and then he decided, as Chubb do, to put me in all the snags. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's good. It's just about got dark. I mean, a few knocks, got some bread on, and uh, lovely stuff.
<laughs> Funny old fight again. Jump, I think. Well guys, you know the chub, by the looks of it. <laughs> Mind you, that water is cold. He's like a block of ice, this fella. Not quite, but <laughs> you get my meaning. That water certainly is cold. I haven't done the temperature, but uh, I would guess it's around 10. I think we'll stick the uh, thermometer and have a look. Guys, we're in again. Not sure what it is, though. Well, I should have known, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> Another little chub. This is very, very enjoyable. Very enjoyable indeed. First evening session for quite a while. Really enjoying it. Well, this is pulling back. Well, guys, just want to put up a bit of a scrap because <laughs> he's a little bit bigger. Fab. This is great fun. But uh, time's getting on, I'm afraid. So uh, I think I'm going to give it another 10 minutes and then I'm off. Great stuff. <laughs> well, guys, that's me done for the evening. Uh, I've really, really enjoyed that. It's been great to get out. It's been uh, almost a week since I last got out and... Uh, it's just what the doctor ordered that. I really, really enjoyed that. We didn't catch anything huge or spectacular, but uh, caught plenty of fish. That's the main thing. Uh, got some bites and, uh, as I say, put a smile on my face and I really, really, really enjoyed it. Now, I'm not sure when I'll be out next with things as they are, as I went um, into a few videos ago, but uh, hopefully in the week. Um, who knows? Who knows? But uh, as soon as I can anyway, for sure. Hope you're all having a good season out there as well. Um, and uh, catching a few. But until I see you next time, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines. Enjoy your own angling, of course. Stay safe, and I'll see you as soon as possible.